Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. All right, well, we're going to do another subscriber request today. And uh, the question that I received was, can you model an emerald? All right. And uh, apparently this is for a game scene. Uh, but, um, you know, we're going to model this in Maya. We're going to render it out in Keyshot. So just so you know. And that said, let's get started with that. We're going to create a polygon uh, cube to start with. We're going to pull that out and pull it in front of our reference image, which is up here. Let's switch views and pull that reference up. Hit F to zoom in. And we're going to start to align it with the top right corner there. Right click vertex and drag select these two to these corners and these two to th these corners. Okay. We're going to go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool, Option Box, select two as a multiple. Add them right there. Then we're going to hit R and pull them up until they are aligned with these corners. We're going to right click at a vertex and we're going to drag select them. And we're going to pull that out until we have that initial shape. Okay. Now, this is a bit thick, so right click object mode, select it and hit R and push that way in. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit E, we're going to rotate it, hold down J to snap it, like so, and just make sure that it's centered. So go to Modify and Center Pivot. All right. So we have that initial step. We're going to switch views. Let's close this down. And let's hit W and move that down there. F to zoom in. Now, it's a very poor quality image, but it is what it is, all right? So we're going to right-click, we're going to go to Vertex, and we're going to drag select the bottom vertices. And we're going to hit R, and we're going to scale them out, like so. Uh, let's see, we'll do that. Then we're going to hit G to repeat, W to pull down. Actually, it didn't repeat. Let's see what's going on there. We're going to right click at a face, select these faces, edit mesh, extrude, W to pull down. And we're going to try to um, get as close to the original as possible. But like I said, the original isn't that great. So we're going to hit R and we're going to do that again but we're not going to use the exact same angle because we'll have a completely flat surface. So let's stretch that out a little bit. Okay. G to repeat, W to pull down. Let's do that to about there. And once again, R to scale out. Let's give that a bit of an angle. G to repeat, W to pull down. And R to scale out to about there. And then G to repeat, W to pull down. And I'm going to pull that way down here. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to start to scale that in. Turn on my X-ray here so we can see what's going on. And it's not going to be 100% identical to the sky, but hit R again. We need a reference. So let's see what we have. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some edge loops from this view. And we're going to go to Insert Edge Loop Tool Option Box, Single Setting. We'll add an edge loop there. And we'll add one there. And then what we're going to do, hit Q on a keyboard. Double click on that one and just scale it out very, very slightly just to kind of break that initial line. And we'll do the same here. And then we'll double click on that one and double click on that one. And we'll go to Edit Mesh and 
bevel, but we want the fraction to be absolutely minimal. So 0 0.01. Okay. Cool. So now that we've got that, we're going to right click go to object mode. We're going to select it. We're going to go to file export selection option box as an OBJ export selection. And I'll call this Emerald OBJ. Let's export that to my desktop. Now we're going to switch to Keyshot. And I'm going to go up to File and Import on my desktop. I'm going to look for my Emerald OBJ. I'm going to leave this all at default. Hit Import. And there you have it. And then we're going to go into our Material tab. And I'm going to look for Gemstones. There we go. And in this list, we have our emerald. And I'm going to left click and drag and pull that out like so. Let's have a look. Looks pretty cool. And as you move it, it takes time to update, but it's uh, looking very nice. And then we're going to set up our scene here. We're going to go to our environment and I'm going to use uh, this studio lighting setup. Let's see how that looks. Possibly a background. Let's see. We'll do a studio background. I'll do a studio backdrop. And that looks kind of neat. It's a bit dark though. Maybe even this one. Yeah, that's nice. All right. So we're going to look for a nice angle. I guess this looks all right. And then we're going to go up to render. And uh, let's see. Let's just check my presets here. We'll do that size. Looks good. We're going to go to render and we're going to hit render. Okay, I'm going to save this as Emerald JPEG. And what I'll do is I'll just save that on my desktop. There we go. And let's see, we'll do that. 300 DPI is okay. Okay, it looks all good. There we go. And we're going to hit render. I'll just pause the video. See you guys in a sec. Right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's our emerald. Uh, I think it turned out okay. Um, and yeah, that's all there's to it. So I'm going to be doing more key shot tutorials in the future. Uh, just got started with it. So, uh, but I love it so far. And, um, you know, for those of you who are uh, patrons, you will find all the files in the uh, shared folder. And if you want to become a patron, you can find details below. That said, thank you guys for watching, and I'd love to see you guys again. Bye.